Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Hello, Grade Threes, and welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa, and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is culture, traditions, and houses. And before we get into a lesson, boys and girls, it's very important for us to sanitize. Remember, when we are sanitizing, we are trying to kill as much germs as possible. So make sure that you sanitize every time you touch something. Please make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done. For today's lesson, we will be talking about creative writing, yes and no questions, and because and so. For our first exercise today, grade threes, let us turn to page six. On page six, we are going to be doing some sentence completion. It is going to be our job to choose the best answer for each of the sentences below. Now, it may look like it's hard, but it is super easy, and I'm going to help you. We are going to do number one, number seven and number 12 together. So I want you to follow in your booklet whilst I'm here on the board. Let's take a look. The first sentence says, the dog wagged dash tail to show how happy he was. The dog wagged dash tail to show how happy he was. Now, do we use the first it's or the second it's or the third it's? What we know is the word it's because we know our possessive pronouns. But if we use the it's with the apostrophe, is it correct? No, my dear boys and girls, it is not correct because the apostrophe is used when we want to shorten a word to bring it together. In this case, there is no word that needs to be shortened. So we use the first it's. The first it's is the actual possessive pronoun. And where are we putting it? Right next to or in front of the word tail, it's tail. So you are going to fill in using the first it. Now let's take a look at number seven. Number seven says, your house is bigger than dash is. Your house is bigger than dash is. Now for number seven, it looks like they are comparing two houses. First we have your, and then we have the other house that belongs to someone. So we are still doing possessive pronoun. So we want to find out which one is it? 
Is it theirs house? Can we say ours is? Can we say them is? Or can we say they is? Now remember the key here is to know what you are doing when it comes to pronouns and possessive pronouns. Now these ones here are just pronouns. But the one in the middle, ours, where you include other people and yourself in a group and say ours. That one shows the possessive pronoun. So now our sentence will say, your house is much bigger than ours is. So I would like you to please use the word ours. Grade threes, it's very important that you also check which words are possessive pronouns and which ones are just pronouns. In this case, because we checked, we got our answer. Let's now move on to number 12. On number 12, we have the sentence, Dash book is on my desk. This is now a question. Dash book is on my desk. So, we know that we are going to use the word whose. But which whose are we going to use? Remember, we are trying to find the owner of the book. And anything to do with ownership, we are dealing with possessive pronouns. But in this case, we have a word that is better than the possessive pronouns. Now, I remember telling you that the apostrophe is used when we're trying to make words smaller. So we cannot use the first one. The second one is actually correct but spelled wrongly because we need an E at the end of that word. So this is the correct whose. And because it is a capital letter starting a sentence, we change it and then we write our capital letter first. So when you are putting the word whose, make sure that you have a capital letter. After that, you can write your word properly as a correct answer. Now I want you to take your time, please, please, please. And remember, you can compare the possessive pronouns and the pronouns to try and get your answer. Also, remember that the apostrophe is only used to put words together to make them shorter. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. For our next exercise, boys and girls, let us turn to page seven. On page seven, we are going to be dealing with sounds that have three letter words. Now I know we know these sounds because we've been doing them since grade one. And this is what's going to make it so much fun. I am going to show you a few of the things that I have here and you need to find out what sound they belong to. And I would also like you to read it out loud at home. Let's take a look. So the first sound that we have is ah. Ah. Everyone, let's say ah. So this is our sound ah. And our sound ah 
has three little words that you can even see. The first one is the one I am wearing. I wear it when I go outside. And this is a... Yes! This is a hat. I am wearing a hat on my head. Point to the word hat. Well done. Now the next one that I have is as something delicious to drink and it comes in different flavors and when you open it it makes this sound what is that yes this is a can can you point to the can in your picture well done then we have other words that we can see like I want you to please focus on reading all these words. Let's try and read them together. Cat, hat, mat, can, fan, van, cap, map, lap. Good job, everyone. Well done. Now we want to do the ones that have E eh in them. So let us take a look and we can see what we can find. The first one, we use it to write and it has some ink in it. It is a... Yes, this is a pen. Everyone, let's say pen. Good job. And then after that, we have a special number and it has the A sound in it and two digits. Good job. It's the word ten. And then after that, I have somewhere where I sleep at night. And it's nice and cozy. It is a, well done, a bed. Good job, everyone. So let us now read all the eh words that we have. We have bed, red, ted, pen, hen, ten, pet. Wet, net. Good job, everyone. Now the sound a e is right next to a ah when we are doing our vowel sounds. Let's take a look at more three-letter words. Now the next one is the i e sound. I. E. Now let's see if we can find some things to say or do with the sound. Now I have my ball here and if I wanted to go from here to the other side, I need to hit the ball. So I'm going to put my ball up in the air and <laughs> so I hit the ball. Then the next action, the one I'm doing now, what is the word for this action? Hmm? Good job, everyone. This is the action sit. So now that we have the I words, let's write it on the board. It looks like this. And now let's read them in our book. We have hit, pit, sit, big, pig, Wig, thin, pin, and win. Good job, everyone. Let's now move on to the next one. And the next one is oh, oh. Let's see if we cannot find a few things that have oh in them. Now, oh is nice and round and comes after it. So let's see if we can't find things in the classroom for it. Well, 
we sometimes call it a full stop and it ends our sentences and it is round it is a dot well done good job if you knew that one and when we are seeing bunny rabbits everyone with your bunny rabbits first your ears and then your cute paws and your little tail when the bunny moves it can hop and hop everyone let's hop very good so we have done the actions and seen what we have for oh so let's read the words now we have hop mop top Dog, jog, log, dot, hot, and pot. Good job, everyone. And last but not least, we have the ah sound. Ah, ah, ah. Now, ah comes after oh. So we have our ah after our oh. let's look for some three letter words in the classroom that have oh in them so the first one needs a pair of scissors which by the way you must not play with and when we take a piece of paper we can cut so everyone let us say cut if you guessed it right good job now the next one is something that we put tea or coffee in in the morning we take it and we have a nice sip mm, delicious <laughs> this one is the word mug mug there we go and then the last one is something we see in the sky, always there, shining brightly. This one is a sun. Now that we have guessed all the correct words, well done. So let us take a look at our exercise. We are going to read all the ah words. Let's go. Cut. Hut, nut, bug, mug, rug, fun, run, sun. So there we have it. We have our three little words. Boys and girls, you must practice them. Please practice them as we continue. So before you practice, we're going to do another fun exercise on page eight on page eight you are going to be drawing yourself but not just drawing yourself we want you to draw yourself wearing your traditional attire now it can be anything that is linked to your tradition some people have beautiful colors like the bamboo culture they have pink then others also have different colors as well for my culture i am wearing something that i often wear when i am at home and also after you're done drawing you need to tell us about your culture in my case my culture is a very interesting one because we have something called eulalation so just like me, you're going to tell me two things, making two sentences about your culture. Now, when someone eulalates, they are very, very happy. And normally they eulalate at gatherings like weddings to show that they are in support of the people that are there. I'm going to try and eulalate. It's going to be loud. So are you ready? Three, two, one. One. Yeah! 
So that is ululation. And all the women in my culture are able to do it. So you're going to tell me two things that are done or that are um, celebrated in your culture. Take your time with both exercises. Go back and read because reading is important. And I will see you soon after this advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081-74-3759 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn and more. We distribute countrywide in over seven different languages. We have now come to the end of our special lesson, boys and girls, and I hope you had fun. Remember, reading can be so much fun, especially if you change your voice. <laughs> now that we are done, it is time to sanitize. Now, when we sanitize, we need to make sure that we sanitize our hands properly. So inside, around, in between, our fingertips, and on our wrists. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. Well done! Now, let's see if we can call Sashi with our special traditional drum. Sashi! <laughs> Sashi, hi! <laughs> Did you hear my special drum? Yes. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today and goodbye! Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF for Every Child, My Zone Online School and Amos Meerkat Syllabus. <laughs>